In this Python beginner tutorial, we will look at a very common error in Python, the attribute error. This error occurs if you reference an attribute or method that is not available on a given data type. Let's explain this with two examples. In the first example, we will work with an integer. Create an integer variable called number and then sum this integer variable to another number using the plus operator. As you can see, the print statement is showing the correct result for the sum. Now, let's assume that you don't know that to calculate the sum of two integers, you can use the plus operator. And you assume that to calculate the sum of two integers, the integer data type provides a method called add. It's important to understand that this is just an example to show you how the attribute error applies to the integer data type. When we execute the code, we see an attribute error due to the fact that the int object has no attribute add. This means that the integer data type doesn't provide an attribute called add. Let's have a look at example number two. Let's start by defining a string. We will then convert this string to uppercase using the upper method. We first print message.upper and this tells us that upper is a method provided by the string data type. And then when we add the brackets after the call to the upper method, we get back the result that in our case is the string converted to uppercase. Now, Imagine you want to convert the string to uppercase, but you don't remember which method is supposed to do that. So imagine that you try to remember the name of the method and you come up with two underscore upper. When you execute this code, you get back an attribute error. The error says that the string object has no attribute to underscore upper. This means that the string data type doesn't provide an attribute called to underscore upper. The traceback for this error also provides a possible solution asking if we are meant to use is upper instead of to underscore upper. One thing that you can also see from the traceback is that the traceback message contains the line at which the error occurs, in this case line 2, and also prints the part of the code that is causing the error. You can also see that a way to avoid this error is by using the autocomplete feature in your IDE. When we type the dot after the message variable, our IDE provides a list of available methods that we can call. For example, in this case, we are typing the letter S after the dot, and the IDE is showing all the methods available that start with the letter S. For example, we select the split method. And now you have the basic knowledge you need to understand an attribute error in case it occurs in your Python program. Have you found this video useful? Like and subscribe, so we can continue building your Python knowledge together.